Hi everyone. Well, this week has been pretty big. We've had uh, quite a bit of things going on in Biggest Loser House. The first training session of the week with my boys was a BMX track, which was heaps of fun. I took them out and made them run around the track with wheelbarrows and sandbags and all sorts of stuff. I'm in the makeup room, by the way, in case you didn't notice. Um, and then the training session after that we had a kick with the, the New South Wales Waratahs, which was amazing. The guys really got so much out of it, as did the rest of the teams as well. But so much came out of that training session about being, you know, communi communicating and being a team and, and being there for each other. My guys got heaps out of it. They also won a challenge, which meant that they sent home the Hailwoods, the white team. The white team have been home all week, um, which could either be a really good thing or a really bad thing. Like, they may go home and train the house down, or they may go home and just go back to their old habits. But anyway, we're going to find out come the weigh-in how things went for them, because they, they won't come back until the weigh-in. So, it's been a pretty tumultuous week for some. Um, but overall, my guys have going really well. I've had a great week of training with them, and I really feel like they've stayed on track with their nutrition. So come the way in, I'm quietly confident, but you never really know. Of course, the um, Reds and the Blacks have decided that they have a bit of an alliance together because the blue and white team ages ago started theirs. So if they were to go under the yellow line, I'm hopeful that they don't. But if they did, then um, you know, the, hopefully the black team would pull them through. So we'll see what happens. I'll see you on the other side. Bye.